the standard form of a non-homogeneous equation is usually in this order where the left hand side is a function of a derivative and the right hand side is a function of either an exponential a polynomial or a trigonometric function hence the g of x is any function on the right hand side after the equal sign this is the general solution of a non-homogeneous equation where y c is the complementary solution the y subscript c that is the complementary solution is usually obtained with an assumption that the equation is homogeneous then we obtain a particular solution which is y subscript p which is dependent on the right hand side which is the function that is on the right hand side after the equal sign if the right hand side contains a polynomial then the particular solution will change if it contains an exponential it also will affect the particular solution if it contains a trigonometric function then the particular solution will also change let's look at different forms of particular solution if the right hand side is just x then the particular solution is going to be ax plus b if the right hand side is an exponential function then the particular solution is going to be a exponential x if the right hand side is a polynomial then the particular solution is going to be a x square plus b x plus c if the right hand side is a trigonometric function then the particular solution is going to be a cos s plus b sin x it's same for sine and for cos if the complementary solution that is yc is already having a and b then we are going to have an ax and bx in the particular solution similarly if sine or cos is having something like maybe 2x or 5x or 3x always remember to include it if x is multiplying a trigonometric function remember that just for x that is going to be ax plus b that's the particular solution and because of that i'm going to multiply ax plus b to call the sine section i'll multiply cx plus d because this is a b c d if the right hand side is exponential and a cos then we're going to have a cos 3x b sin 3x but you have to include the exponential if the right hand side is having two functions with an operator in between then we are going to have two particular solutions and the particular solution will be dependent on the function here x exponential s is going to give us this because this is the particular solution for x now is multiplying exponential also cos 2x will give you this remember this is usually a and b however there is a and b here hence is going to take c and d an example will make this clear i will see you in the next video